Shocking Animals Found in the Sea. Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Alexa here with another video. What do you really know about the oceans of our world? Most of the Earth is covered in water, so let's take a look at the strange animals that live beneath the water's surface. Before we get into today's video, make sure that you are subscribed and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any of our upcoming videos. Sarcastic Fringe Head Sarcastic Fringe Head sounds like a name you'd call your moody teenage siblings who cut their own emo bangs, but alas, it is the name of a saltwater fish. The Sarcastic Fringe Head may be small, but they are quite strong creatures, never backing down from a fight. When two Fringe Heads fight each other, they wrestle with their mouths, like violently kissing each other. Their mouths extend like so, as seen in this photo. Their bodies measure 12 inches long, with a mostly scaleless exterior. You can find Sarcastic Fringe Heads swimming in the Pacific Ocean ocean off the coast of San Francisco all the way down to Baja, California. Six-gill shark. The six-gill shark is called such, seeing that it sports six pairs of gills behind its broad, pointy head. These deep-water sharks live at depths over 8,000 feet. Their bodies can measure as long as 16 feet and can weigh up to 1,300 pounds. Six-gill sharks usually patrol the deep waters and move toward the surface at night to feed. Their prey consists mainly of a diet of crabs, rays, squids, sharks, and occasionally seals. They are scavengers with an amazing sense of smell and often arrive at the scene of another predator's kill to claim the remains. Frilled Shark The frilled shark is a primitive-looking shark found in the waters of the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, generally over the continental shelf and slope. It has been found lurking in depths of over 5,000 feet. First discovered in the late 1800s, this shark is named for the frilly or fringed appearance of its six gills and its resemblance to ancestors who swam with the dinosaurs. Experts call the frilled shark a living fossil because it is virtually unchanged from its older relatives. The shark uses its eel-like body to bend and lunge at prey like a snake. It swallows its prey whole, and its many rows of teeth make it nearly impossible for anything to escape. Its body grows to over six feet long. The Goblin Shark The Goblin Shark is a rare deep-sea shark with a lineage that goes back 125 million years to the time of the dinosaurs. Nowadays, the populations are found distributed throughout the world at depths greater than 300 feet. This unusual pink-skinned shark possesses an elongated flat snout and jaws that protrude from its mouth containing pointy teeth. The Goblin Shark's snout also enables it to pick up minute changes in electric fields, which signify nearby prey. The shark's jaws can protrude protrude all the way to the tip of the snout to snare its victims. Northern Stargazer They may dwell on the seafloor, but they constantly look up to the sky. Doesn't that sound inspirational? Here is what a northern stargazer actually looks like. Do you feel inspired? Those perpetually grumpy fish live on the shores between New York and North Carolina. Their flat foreheads and rough beige bodies help them blend into the sands of the ocean floor. The stargazer will first bury itself in the sand and then wait for smaller fish to come by to catch prey. Its eyes stay open and keep watch above as the stargazer sits under the sand, hence its name. Fangtooth Fish The fangtooth fish obtained its name from its large, fang-like teeth. It's one of the deepest dwelling fish ever discovered, often found at depths of up to 16,500 feet. They only grow to about 6 inches, but what they lack in size they make up for in teeth. Their teeth are the largest of any fish proportionate to body size and are so big that the fish can never close its mouth completely. However, their teeth have little effect against larger predators like tuna, marlin, and sharks. Their diet consists of zooplankton, other fish, and tiny squid. The Blobfish the blobfish is a unique deep-sea fish that inhabits the deep waters near Tasmania, Australia, and New Zealand at depths of up to 4,000 feet. The pressure at that depth is over 100 times that at sea level and would crush regular fish. Yet, the blobfish is comprised of a gelatinous mass that gives it its unique shape and name. Its body is actually lighter and less dense than the water it swims in, enabling it to float. Since the blobfish lacks any significant muscles, it lazily feeds on whatever floats in front of it. In 2013, it was named the world's ugliest animal and adopted by the Ugly Animal Preservation Society. Gulper Eel Gulper eels are very rare, and nobody ever caught this fish on camera until this year. The gulper eel is a deep-sea creature with a large mouth that resembles a pelican's mouth, earning the fish its nickname, Pelican Eel. The mouth appears small in this photo, but an open gulper eel mouth will measure larger than its body. Its stomach expands as well in order to fit a larger meal. These eel-like fish grow to two and a half 
feet at the longest. Giant tube worms. Giant tube worms are one of the hardiest species of worm on the planet. They live several miles below the Pacific Ocean in crushing temperature and tolerate freezing temperatures and zero sunlight. They manage to survive by attaching themselves to hydrothermal vents in the ocean floor, which spew forth highly sulfuric water that reaches temperatures over 800 degrees Fahrenheit. There is very little life at that depth, so for food, the giant tube worm uses a process called chemosynthesis. During this process, they convert oxygen provided by bacteria, hydrogen sulfide, and carbon dioxide into sustenance. These nutrients allow the giant tube worm to reach a length of eight feet. The tube worm also lacks many predators and can retreat inside its tube if danger is present. Grenadier. An olden time soldier with a tall hat may come to mind when you hear grenadier, but today we're talking about the fish called the grenadier that lives in the Arctic and Antarctic waters. They are the most abundant of the deep sea fish. The largest fish part of the grenadier subfamily is 4.9 feet long. Typically, they have huge eyes and mouths on their huge heads, though their bodies are slim in comparison. Their long tail fins appear very thin, so thin that some people refer to the grenadier as the rat tail fish. The sea cucumber. The sea cucumber takes its name from the vegetable it resembles, and many regions do cultivate it as a food. Its long, spherical body is rounded at the ends, and it possesses an endoskeleton. They can be found deep on the ocean floor at depths greater than five miles. Sea cucumbers travel in dense herds, where over 1,000 inhabit per square yard. And in deeper waters, these herds make up 90% of the total ocean biomass down there. These scavengers often feed on debris, plankton, and other organic matter, their bodies growing up to 10 feet long. Some position themselves in currents and eat the small organisms that swim by. Wolffish. The wolffish, also known as the sea wolf, is a large marine cold water fish native to the North Atlantic and Pacific Oceans from the Scandinavian coast to Cape Cod to the Mediterranean. Like catfish, they are bottom feeders. However, it can swim to depths of up to 2,000 feet. Like humans, they have canine and molar teeth, and they use their strong jaws to break open and eat hard shelled invertebrates like crustaceans and clams. These fearsome teeth also keep them on the top of the food chain, with few no natural predators. They can also grow over six feet in length. The hatchetfish. The hatchetfish is a small deep sea fish that lives in the warmer waters of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans at depths greater than 4,000 feet. Its name derives from the shape of its body, whose silver-colored thorax resembles a hatchet. Parts of the body are also transparent, which allows it to confuse its prey through the use of bioluminescent photophores. Their extremely big eyes let them detect the faintest light and focus on objects both near and far. They can grow up to five inches in length. The anglerfish. The anglerfish is one of the most unique fish you'll ever see. It lives in the deep sea. One of its distinct features is that luminescent protrusion, or fishing rod, hanging from its head that it uses as a lure in its dark environment. Females also use this to lure males during mating season. These carnivorous fish have large heads and an enormous jaw filled with razor-sharp, fang-like teeth. The teeth angle inward, ensuring that no prey can escape their mouth. It can distend its jaw and stomach, allowing it to swallow prey up to twice its size. They grow to be over three feet long and weigh up to 100 pounds. The Broad-Nosed Chimera Populations of the Broad-Nosed Chimera exist throughout the Atlantic at depths over 4,000 feet. Experts named the Broad-Nosed Chimera for its long, narrow, pointed snout. Its body appears as white or light brown with narrow pectoral fins. It can grow to be four feet long. A better name for it might be the Enigma fish, because very little is known about its behavior, feeding habits, population, or breeding. It occasionally shows up in deep water fishing nets. Some believe this is how people first discovered the fish. Blue Ringed Octopus This creature's grace and colorfulness might seem alluring, but you should stay far away if you ever encounter one. The Blue Ringed Octopus is one of the most venomous animals in the world. Even though they are docile, their venom is fatal to humans as it contains tetrodotoxin, a potent neurotoxin. These octopi dwell in coral reefs and tide pools in the Indian and Pacific Oceans. Divers need to be careful because it's challenging to avoid blue ringed octopuses because they like to hide in the crevices of rocks and coral. At least this octopus doesn't eat people as its diet consists mostly of shrimp and smaller crabs, so you don't ever have to worry about it coming after you. 
Giant spider crab. The giant spider crab, also known as the Japanese spider crab or tall-footed crab, is a species native to the waters of Japan. Its legs are the longest span of any crab, measuring 12 feet from claw to claw. The body may grow to a size of 16 inches across. The giant spider crab lives at depths of up to 2,000 feet, often near vent holes. Despite its fearsome appearance, the crabs act pretty docile and use camouflage and their armored exoskeletons to help protect them from larger predators like the octopus. They will even add sponges and other animals to their shells to further blend in with their surroundings. Before we tell you number one, we have a question for you. What else do you think lurks in the deep ocean that humans have not yet discovered? Let us know your creative thoughts in the comments below. 1. Vampire Squid the vampire squid is a small, deep-sea squid that can be found in and around tropical oceans across the world at depths of up to 10,000 feet. Oxygen is scarce at that depth, but the vampire squid breathes in the available oxygen at saturations of only 3%. Its eyes need to be very large for it to see, resulting in proportionately larger eyes than any other animal. Light-producing organs called photophores cover its body, allowing the squid to produce disorienting flashes of light for several minutes in order to escape predators. Rather than feasting on the blood, the vampire squid instead eats detritus or waste in the remains of zooplankton. Scientists dubbed it the vampire squid for its red eyes, dark color, and cape-like webbing that encompasses all eight legs.